keep your Mustang running properly, vehicle maintenance is extremely important. Today we're going to show you a very, very basic maintenance on a classic Mustang. We're going to show you how to change your oil. You know, in the past we did a video talking about oil, explaining viscosity, the different styles, when you should change it. You know, back in the day, the general rule of thumb was every 3,000 miles or every three months. With today's modern oils, you know, that numbers have changed. Every 5,000, every six months is perfectly acceptable. And again, if it's a classic car, you're not driving it that much, you still want to change it at least once a year. Now, changing an oil is kind of a gateway to doing other insulation work. I mean, myself included, the very first thing I ever did in a car was change the oil, and once you're comfortable with that, that'll lead to doing other things on the car. Next to putting air in your tires, changing the oil is one of the easiest maintenance items there is, and it's a great way to get started on working on your car. Now to change oil in your classic Mustang with a small block engine, you'll need five quarts of oil and the proper filter. Now to change the oil, you're gonna need basically a socket or a wrench to take out the drain plug. In our case, it's a 13 16th, but you may have a different style plug. You'll need a drain pan and a way to dispose of the oil. Now basically what you're gonna do, is just remove this bolt here from the pan and drain the oil out. And again, make sure you have a nice clean pan and a proper way to do this before you get started. Now, once the bolt gets loose, the oil will come out pretty quickly. Melt the oil drain into the pan. Now you're gonna to wanna to basically let it go until you get to a very, very slow drip. I mean, you're not gonna get all the oil out of the pan, but you wanna get as much as possible. I also wanna to mention too, the car can be slightly warmed up. You do not want it hot at this point because it'd be very easy to burn yourself on the oil. And about this point, we're good to go. Put our plug back in. Make sure this threads in evenly. You do not wanna cross thread this. Just get it hand tight clean the area and then tighten it down. And you do not have to get this crank to the moon tight. Just get it snug. You know, your, your car is leaking oil, it's leaking oil. More than likely it's not gonna leak from here. In the case of our 66, it leaks from everywhere else. But again, snug is good to go. Your oil filter is located right here on your driver's side of the engine. Very easy to get to right above our drain plug. Now, in theory, if the last oil change was done properly, you should be able to just get your hands on this and turn it off by hand. If not, though, there's a couple different oil filter wrenches that'll help. And so somebody cranked ours nice and tight, so we're gonna grab a filter plier, use that to get it off. Now the filter comes off, it will drip a little bit, and then when you get the filter completely off the engine, it will pour some oil out. So again, make sure you have the drain pan in the right area. You'll see right about here, it should start to drip. Just let it drip out. The filter holds a decent amount of oil. Put a little bit of the old oil on the gasket here. Put a little bit extra seal and then put the new filter up into place. Lined up and thread it on. Again, just like our drain plug, good and hand tight is about as tight as it has to get. It's not gonna leak if you can get two hands in here and just get it snug. We're ready to fill the oil now. The cap is over here. Just pop that off. We're gonna grab a funnel. Now, some of you guys probably have amazing aim and can pour oil in without a funnel. I personally can't, so I'm grabbing a funnel. And fill her up with some fresh oil. Now we're gonna pull the funnel out, reinstall our cap. Now at this point, you wanna start it up, let it circulate the oil a little bit, and then check the oil to make sure it's full, and you're all finished. We'll pull the dipstick, let's clean it off so we can get a good reading. Now you should be right basically between the ad and full. In our case, we're just barely over the ad. 
about five and a half quarts with filters about normal. So we'll put about another half a quart in and check it again. There we go. Yep. Now we're right in the middle, just under the full, right where we want to be. An oil change is a great way to get started on working on your car. It's going to save you money and you get the satisfaction of doing it yourself. Now again, we did this oil change on a lift, but you can do it on jack stands or ramps at home very, very easily. Now I did mention getting rid of the oil properly. That means don't throw it in the trash, don't pour it down a drain. Find a local auto parts store that either recycles the oil or ask around. You might find a business that uses recycled oil for their heaters and they'll be happy to have it. But as far as this goes, it's very, very simple to do. And again, keep it here for more videos on basic maintenance on your classic Mustang.